welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rain, and in today's video we're going to be showing you how you can get Saints Row to co-op split screen working on PC. Yeah, we're running, as you can currently see, two controllers. Let's dump on that motherfucker. And you can see we're both in the same game. And that's a feature I never noticed. Your character actually turns your head when you swivel the camera. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's get to it. And how do we do all this? Well, I'm going to exit out all the shit and we're going to show you. Okay, so first things first. Load up Nucleus. Go to your Saints Row. Just take one controller and start the game. This once it starts the game you can control it we'll create a folder inside the nucleus called Saints Row under content and it will be blank because it's a pain in the ass so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our Steam and we're going to launch Saints Row and we are going to edit some settings inside of Saints Row which are going to be required for this all to work. So go down to options, go display, set the resolution to 1080p, turn full screen off, so it's it, well, just press no on it, accept it, and then exit the game. Next, we're going to need to navigate our butts over to the Saints Row game folder and not the folder we think of. So we're going to go to our C drive, we're going to go users, so we're going to go to our user and then we're going to go view and show hidden items. Then we go app data, then we go local and we go to HQ, we go Saints Row 2 and we now want to copy everything inside this folder. You can either drag it down and Select so right click copy, or you can just click Control O, Control A, Control C, and then we're going to go back to that nucleus folder called Saints Row 2. Let's go Contents and Saints Row, copy and paste it in here. Personally, what I do now is we go to Settings, we right click, go Property, and set Reader Only so it can't fuck with the settings at all. That is just personally me. You don't have to do that. Don't know if that will affect it or not. No, I haven't tested it without doing that. So now we have to do a pain in the ass thing. There's a mod we should install. This is a recommendation, and you probably won't do it because otherwise, there's really piss poor controller support in Saints Row 2. You want to download Gentleman of the Row from the description and get my custom patch. Copy these three items and go to your Saints Row 2 installation location and just drag and drop it into the main Saints Row folder right here. Once that's done, you now Saints Row, well, a gentleman of the row, which is a great mod will add better controller support, new custom items, uh, some of the DLC and optimizes the game and makes it run less, slightly less shit and crash less often. Next, we need to go down to your network, open network and internet settings, change adapter options, disable every adapter in here. <coughs> I know, it's kind of retarded. Although, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get around this just by uh, disabling the network adapter in the settings under network. But we're not going to fuck about with that, we're doing it this way for right now. Uh, now we just take controller 1, we split the screens, controller 1, controller 2, click play. We're going to say yes. And drag this one to the top.
This is going to take a few minutes. Okay. I'm going to keep on waiting until this is all finished. Now you see we have a second window here of the game, which is player two. I'm going to alt tab into that. So I'll hold alt tab and move my mouse to the side, then bring it in and then pull it down and we can reposition it. It should automatically do this, but I, I like to do this manually. Now I'm going to go co op, LAN party. I'm going to give it a name. To do so, you need to alt tab to the Pacific window. I'm going to call it FJ. And I'm going to load game. Now I'm going to scroll down with the Sankun character. And we're going to go find game. Then we're going to load our save. And then we need to accept as player one. Hold the start button on both controllers to skip the cutscene. And as you can see, we're now in playing split screen. Both fighting and playing with two controllers at once. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this helped you guys out. Please like and subscribe. I need as many as possible.